Hello my friends, it's Rain here. I am doing some walkthroughs in the month of October of my spooky decks for the Halloween season. And this is a walkthrough of the Horror Tarot. And I've got the link in the description below with the authors and the illustrators and things like that if you're interested. Now it comes in a really nice box, very colorful, and I love when they put a ribbon in so you can just pull out the cards so easily. So that's the box, the Horror Tarot. And we've got a little guidebook here. And for each card, at least for the majors, we have a full page color photo or image of the card, the name of the card, a little description, the upright and the reversed meaning. But as happens with, I've noticed a lot of guidebooks, they cheap out on the minors for some reason. I find them just as important. They have a small image of the card the name of the card, the upright and the reversed, but they don't have a description. I wish they did. So this is the back of the card here. And it's almost the same size as a regular tarot card. It's just slightly, slightly bigger, very slightly. These cards are matte, which I find makes them hard to shuffle at first. But once you get sort of work, work them in, they shuffle okay but they're they're not great quality but I still love this deck now this is the fool card but I wanted to show you if, you if you can see see the name on the card the words are very very hard to read especially when it's sunny <laughs> it, it's like almost um, a tin foily kind of you know look to it and it's really really hard to read so I kind of have to go like this a little bit when I'm looking so that I can read the card, but I'll go through them for you. So this is the Fool. We have the Magician. The High Priestess. The Empress. The Emperor. The Hierophant. The Lovers. The Chariot. I love this chariot. Strength. The Hermit. This is a cool Wheel of Fortune. I love it. Justice, the hanged man, poor guy, <laughs> death, a beautiful temperance, oh, more spiders, <laughs> the devil, the tower, The star, the moon. There are a lot of werewolves for the moon cards in these scary decks, I've noticed. Now here's a creepy sun. <laughs> Judgment and the world. I'm going to set these aside and focus on the pentacles. Here's the ace, two, three of pentacles. That's kind of Blair Witchy, I think. Four of pentacles, five of pentacles, and six of pentacles. Here's the seven, the eight. Oh, this is cool. The nine, look at that. The 10, and there's someone in there. <laughs> Here's the page of pentacles. The knight of pentacles in a straight jacket. Queen of Pentacles, 
and the King of Pentacles. <laughs> that poor little girl. Here's the Ace of Wands. Not Wands, sorry, the Ace of Cups. The Two of Cups. That's nice. The Three of Cups, Celebration. Love those, love those cups. <laughs> the Four of Cups. The Five of Cups. Here's a creepy Six of Cups. Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups, lovely. Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. Look at the difference between this one and this one. They're almost very similar. Ten of Cups. Here's the Page of Cups. My favorite Knight of Cups. I'm a big fan of Sleepy Hollow and the Headless Horseman. Here's the Queen of Cups. And the King of Cups. I'll set these aside and we will start with the Swords. Here's the Ace of Swords. The Two of Swords. Serving up the Three of Swords for dinner. <laughs> I love this Four of Swords. Five of Swords. Interesting. The Six of Swords. And seven of Swords. He's got them in his back. The Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. I like this Ten of Swords because he's long gone. Here's the Page of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords. and the one-eyed King of Swords. <laughs> the Ace of Wands. The Two of Wands. Here's the Three of Wands. The Four of Wands. Five of Wands. Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands. Oh, I like this page of Wands. Look at her. The Knight of Wands. The Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. So that's the walkthrough, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.